Hey everybody, this is Rusty Ship from the band Rusty Ship. Today I'm going to be talking about a song that people have been wondering about for a long, long time. It's pronounced Kala Gyna Phobia, which of course, as all of you know, means the fear of beautiful women. Yeah, that's a, it's a loaded song. So let me just walk you through what I can share with you about this song. The song all started back when I was at LA Beach and suddenly I noticed that I was completely surrounded by hot chicks in bikinis at the beach. Now, me being a young, pure lad, I knew I needed to resist the temptation. And so I ran away saying, hot chicks are after me. And I thought, Chicks that is like the greatest line that could ever be in a song. So I wrote it down. Many years later, I was like, you know what? I want to write my own personal favorite song. What would that be? If I was to write my favorite song, what would it be? Well, it would combine all my favorite styles of music. Surf rock, punk rock, grunge rock with the influence of my favorite bands, like MXPX and Calibretto 13. And so that's what I set out to do. I set out to make my own personal favorite song, combining those styles. And so I went through all my music uh, journals, and my music arsenal, and I picked out uh, my, the, my favorite riffs that I could find that were in kind of that like surf punk style. So that's what I set out to do. Combine all my favorite kinds of music into one massive ultimate super song. So I went through my, my music journals, taking my favorite riffs of like surf punk style, combined them together and out came this song. And I was like, okay, awesome, man. I've got this great song. I wanted to make a song that was like a great cruising song. And so I was like, man, and which, the, which it is, this is an awesome, Cruising song. And I had this image in my head of like um, cruising through the city, like cruising through the city. So that's why, like, the first lyric in it is like cruising down the street, snake hair and cool shades, man, I'm out busy, but you look my way. <laughs> it's just like that. Now, what lyrical content would the ultimate song be? It could be anything I wanted to. And that's when I remembered that thing that I had written in my journal years earlier. Hot chicks are after me. I was like, that is so hilarious, so awesome. So I was like, dude, I've got to do that. Like a cruising song about hot chicks are after me. So that's what I did, Caligonophobia. And uh, just for those of you who, who can't understand what I'm saying at the very beginning of the song, I'm not saying, da 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 I'm actually saying words there. Um, somebody in our band, won't say his name, he thought I was saying something like, um, peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm not saying peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm saying time to flip in rockets, sucker. It's just like, it's like the ultimate like raw rock out jam song. Time to flip in rockets, sucker. Somebody actually told me that they work out to this song. Because it is quite the workout jam. He's like, yeah, when I when I hear this song, I just want to go like smash stuff. Or, like get up and like run or like box. I'm like, dude, do it. Um, so there you go. Pretty cool. Very proud of this song. This is actually probably more than any other song on the album. I get more feedback on this song being somebody's favorite song on the album than any other song on the album. That's kind of really weird and extremely surprising for me. I wasn't thinking that this song would do well because it's just like so aggressive the whole time through. Even our producer, Jay Hall, he was like, you're doing a five minute long punk song? And I was like, Jay, just press the record button and watch the magic happen. And so he did, and the magic did happen. It's been blowing people's minds ever since. Yes, 
Um, along the lines of Crack Baby, this is one of the more controversial Rusty Ship songs because of the lyrics. Um, now, obviously, a lot of that is just kind of like tongue-in-cheek, sarcastic humor. Um, but some of it is like things that I did think deeply on, and I actually did want to try to communicate some kind of message. Um, and this is a, a song about lust and the resistance of lust, similar to Crack Baby. It's interesting to point out that in my pursuit of making like an ultimate song, I actually had a, a song that I had written a few years earlier. It was a very controversial song called JJ's BBs. I'm not going to go into what JJ's BBs stand stood for, but all I'll say is that it had an awesome bridge in that song, and it wasn't really doing much, and I was like, man, this bridge is so awesome, I've got to use this for my ultimate super song. So that's where I got the bridge from Caligynophobia from, was the song JJ's BBs, and the lyrics were a little bit too much, too controversial, um, so I had to tone it down. Even as controversial as the song is, it's actually toned down from what the original was. Um, I had to take out the word slut in this, in this song. Um, and my friend uh, Matt, who was working on at Valinor Records with us at the time, he was like, yeah, the song Caligonophobia, you can't have the word slut in the song. So I, I had to take it out, sadly. And I did change some of the lyrics, like originally in JJ's BBs, it was saying something about, um, uh, what, Jessica Simpson, stop showing off your big fat butt. And then something about Lindsay Lohan as a slut. <laughs> uh, so I, sh I took those things out and made it a little bit more, more family friendly by saying something along the lines of your daughter is showing off her big fat butt. So that way I'm not like throwing Jessica Simpson under the bus with this one. So, A-okay now. Um, besides all that, uh, you know, this is definitely a song that people question me often about, the lyrical implications, because it's a song about uh, modesty and women and just like resistance of lust. And you know, it's something that I, uh, you know, I, I, I wrestle with it a lot in my head. I don't really know the, the answer of uh, what to do with the balance between um, modesty and uh, self-preservation against temptation. But I like this song because it's kind of exploring that inner turmoil of um, lust and resistance to that. It's cool because some of my friends from college heard this song and they're like, whoa! This is like, this is the rusty ship that I remember because this song is actually very similar to the kind of music that I was making in college um, when I was very influenced by MXPX and Calibretto 13. Um, if you're not familiar with Calibretto 13, they are an amazing band, one of my top four uh, favorite bands. Uh, check out their song, Hollywood is Burning Down. It's kind of similar to this song somewhat. So when people from college heard the song, they're like, whoa, this reminds me of Terremoto of the Quiet Ones, which was the name of my band in college, um, which was very much like aggressive punk rock. And it had a lot of this style of vocals, which is like machine gun vocals. Like a lot of the songs that I had back then were it's like the whole song was like that. Um, so this is kind of a glimpse into that old world of songwriting that I came from, which makes sense because actually I wrote this song a long, long time ago in 2007, yeah, long, long time ago. And uh, I mean, that's 10 years before Mortal Ghost came out, actually. So what does that say? It says that, you know, just because you have a song that was written a long time ago doesn't mean that it isn't still relevant today or it's like some people are like, oh man, it's like, yeah, that old stuff I was writing, oh, it's garbage. But the new stuff I'm writing is the best I've ever made. That's not necessarily true all the time. And I think one of the strengths of this band is uh, me recognizing that I've been making great music the whole time, in my opinion. For, you know, 10 years, there's been like great stuff all throughout. And it's including and incorporating all that great stuff over the past decade 
and taking the, the strongest things in all that long period of time and combining it. So a song written 10 years earlier and I release it and people love it. It's like their favorite song on the album. So that's pretty cool. That was really exciting to get that kind of feedback. The heavy metal grunge breakdown at the end of the third chorus right after it. Anytime I hear that, I just get instant goosebumps. That is the heaviest thing I have ever heard in my life. Not from my band, just any band. I'm like, dude, I've never heard anything this heavy. Anytime after that third chorus, I'm just driving in my car, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> like, it is a heavy jam breakdown. So, particularly listen to that part and just be like, whoa, this is like Russ, one of Rusty's favorite parts of the whole album right here. This is the heaviest thing he's ever heard. So, check it out. Uh, Caligonophobia from the Mortal Ghost album. Hot chicks are all over this. I'll tell you what.